Hey! So, during our last videos, you might have noticed that we had an awesome foam bed. And uh, since our camping trip, we've made some modifications with a 1980s vintage turkey carver. So you don't need any fancy tools to cut foam. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> um, I took into account the curves of the Model Y um, back end, and we cut two of these out to make room for that because it was kind of curving up and infringing on our sleep room, which is very important. Um, so to kind of show you how this happened, we're gonna cut a hole for the AC in the back so we can get some more airflow um, while we sleep. And we're probably gonna take the extra side pieces that you were just holding and make those hold up the, where our heads are. This part. Uh, back here. That we talked about several times, but never filmed it in daylight. Now you can see there's uh, quite a gap. So we're gonna take that extra foam. Mind the gap and try. We'll see what happens. Let's do it. So, as you can see, now, you can see my hair blowing a little. We've got some airflow. <laughs> it does feel better. Yeah. I think you might need a little bit bigger of a hole. A little oh, bit hold more. On. I wasn't angling <gasps> them up. Now they're angled up. Let's see if we can get some more. There we go, look at that, <laughs> proof. All right, this it's will be working. much better Yeah. next time. And our heads don't fall. No, nope, because we've got the supports. Those Can't two extras. Them, it worked. Yeah. Both sides. So get a square. We can use the rest for supports and maybe little baby pillows. <laughs>